Hello there and welcome to RimWorld Alpha 7 Episode 6. In the previous episode we uh, were recovering from our attack. We did lose a person. I see all the blood. Are you actually feeding somebody a stone? Healing. Okay, looks like you're healing with a stone. Remember stay away from that person. So basically we have uh, built up our colony a little bit more by building nothing. Well, not true. We actually repaired this piece of walling here. It took us a whole episode, but we managed to build those three pieces of stone. But we're doing really well. Anyway. <laughs> Back to full speed. We are going to collect some stuff. Get some stuff on the route. Let's have a look at our bills over here. What have we got? Smelter. Ooh, we're not smelting anything. Let's get our metal Ooh, smelting and we'll bring our metal up to 200. Oops, 200. That way our stone's at 250. Uh, ooh. We can start making clothing, good. We can make clothing. Don't need any body parts right now. Growing good to go there. Our food supply is growing, good. No, that was really bad. We actually ran out entirely of meals and we were eating potatoes up in the fields. At one point, um, we actually had a prisoner who he actually starved to death, so we hopefully we'll do better this time. Keep trying. We did actually get attacked by a uh, cipher. That's how you pronounce it. Probably not. Uh, and we managed to take it out, so we did quite well. well. I think we did, anyway. We did quite well on that one. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to put down a floor, a wooden floor, just down here, just to get to the stop pile. Of stone because it's taking them quite a while to get down there sometimes. It causes another person for an injury. We actually really should just take a moment to look at all of our injuries and make sure everyone's covered because, like I said, we did have an attack the episode before and uh, we just need to look around, make sure everybody is okay. Okay, you've got uh, malaria and a bionic leg, so your leg is okay. We have replaced that last episode, I believe. You've got malaria, you've got immunities, good, good. Uh, what you got? A stab scar, that's not going to stop you from doing anything. And you? Actually, you're the one we saw the leg in last episode. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? There you are, I knew there was somebody hiding around. And you've lost a right kidney. Oh, that's dangerous, because if you lost the left kidney, you would just die immediately. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Nobody hanging around in the lurches over here? Nope, that is the entire colony. Everybody is minorly injured, and we have one person here who... Oh good, they can't actually do anything because they've been leg shot off, meaning they can't attack us. They can't go mental, they can't do anything. But since they're... Oops. Since they are virtually useless, there's no point in helping them out at the moment. So we're just... Uh, We'll keep them around until they, until we decide to keep them. Well, actually, think about it. We should have tried to recruit them, really. <clears throat> we could do with extra manpower, but they can't really do anything, so... I don't know. We have a weapon? We have a pistol we can use. Oh, we're probably going to give them a rifle to help defend us. Screw it. We need extra manpower, and you're taking up our food anyway, so... I tend to recruit you. And... Because I haven't got any medicine, I don't think I can actually do any uh, installs. I'm just going to say, make us a bionic leg. And we'll do our best to... Go, go, go. Come on. No, what are you? Can you do it? Where is our crafty person? One leg. Needed. We have plaster steel. We have metal. Nobody make it. Okay. Can be a reason, but I don't know sure what the reason is. Disease. I would happily treat it, but we don't have medicine. Um, let's see if we can get some kind of just general healing.
basically she walks over there and she taps you on the head and rubs her hot quaffing head. That's basically the, head, the entire severity of our medicine right now. Anybody capable of making this uh, leg yet? No? Let's try... make us a leg. Okay, in that case, you get a peg leg! Ah, me Benson. Thought it might do. So we are desperately need a medicine now, even if it's just to install a leg and look after our malaria ridden person who has the squirts. Oh Thunder with malaria with the squirts. Oh a good combination. Uh I'm gonna extend that stockpile. There we go. That should just nicely do that. Uh, some metal capacity 26. I'm going to reduce this actually. Uh, do until we have. I'm going to take it down to. Oops. I'm going to take it up to 100. Or 50 for now. We'll increase it when we need to, but quite frankly, we're not needing that much metal right now, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. But there's much more things they can be doing. <clears throat> Look at our overview a minute. Everyone's got who can do doctoring is doing doctoring, but it's so important. I think we're doing quite well on our layout. Nothing we can really change there. Do, 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 do. The food supply is healthy. I am gonna get rid of that bob who's been annoying me for two episodes. Uh orders. Hunt. Oh good. There you go. Any hang on a minute. Who has the dagger, the spear? Whoever you are, you're not going hunting. Okay. Wow, one shot. This is very well. Bet we have meat rather than a bar. Okay. I'm going to look at this. Can we make any decent clothing? Clothing, clothing, clothing. Shirts. Let's see what we've got. Cloth, pretty much useless. Sim thread, if we can get it, we'll happily make it. Devil strand, hyperweave. Human leather. No! Most of these materials are pretty much useless, so I'm going to actually just say make me what you can. And I'm also going to say Pants for the same rule. Cloth is useless. Human liver, no. And make me. What's our current clothing like? We have two pants already. So I'm going to spend the pants and I have to put two shirts. To help build a power supply. What do we have here? It's Sonal's birthday! 49! Oh, happy birthday! He survived... Where are we? Till May the 1st, you've survived! Quite a long time, actually, considering everybody else uh, probably wouldn't have done. Where are you going? What the? What? You're going all around there for a bit of slag metal. Wow. <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to stop you. I think it's a stupid move. Oh, I want to get a bit of mining, mining. So let's get those three out there. And get ourselves uh, a little bit more room at the top for a walkway there. Egg uh, zones, growing zone. I'm going to extend these down there. 
chase in that one, unfortunately. A bit more flowery in our colony there. Makes people nice and pretty. These are these should be dandelions when they're growing, and these are roses. <clears throat> what we got now? We have a tr industrial trader nearby. Okay. We why are you injured? If you're not bleeding, why is there blood on the floor? Monkey blood. Okay, never mind. Monkey blood. You know, you expect, you expect to see that around on the, randomly on the floor in the colony, don't you? If I take Arsenal. Tell you what, Arsenal, since you are currently chatting, we'll let you finish chatting over there. Okay, now, if you could, go and have a chat with these guys. It's your birthday, see if you can get a good deal for it. It's very expensive, but we are going to need to buy it. So I'm going to... Oh, whoa, not that much. We'll go 10. Nice round number. Uh, we have materials to sell. We have a lot of potatoes. Let's give them a 150 potatoes. Woo. Yeah, 150 potatoes. Uh, do they have the tribal wear? Oh, we already made the two shirts. Good. Okay. We're still paying them more than we have, so let's give them some more stuff. Let's give them the cloth pants, and we'll sell them the two shirts. Still need more. No. Potatoes. We'll give them more potatoes. Up to 200. Okay, we, can, we got two potato, potato fields going, so that's not too bad. Uh, give you some berries. We can grow our own berries as well. There we go. Just about break even there. And I'm going to cancel. Oh, I didn't put it in good. That I am um, immediately request that somebody make me that leg. Cancel. Make me a leg. Wow. The final person? Is nobody capable of crafting? No, we cannot craft. Okay. Well, in that case, you are just going to have to know. You haul the medicine to the medical ward, please. It wants to be as close as it can to be to the medical ward. <coughs> There you go, you see? Makes sense over there. Du -du -du -du. We're clearing the. Uh, any thing I hear they can hide behind. Although apparently we didn't play the trees. Because that didn't make sense. I'm not going to put a peg leg on because it'll use one of our medicine to put a peg leg on a prisoner. He really wants to join us as well. Naturally, it will beat about the situation all the time, no matter what it is. Well, suppose having no leg, you have to be, wouldn't you? What do we have? We have a blight destroying our crops. Which is not a bad problem because we got 300 and something potatoes, 260 berries, and 13 algar. I'm not really worried right now about that. Let's look at our production menu. What can we make? Got it, 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 and uh, just need to make one of them. Don't want to put it there just in case there's a fire opening in the middle. Mm, not really any place to put it in our, in our uh, area. Don't want to put it here because we're going to expend our canteen. Mm, I'll have to deal with that one later. And we have some visitors. We can keep away from the food. Well, they're actually uh, hauling all of that now. Uh, can you infer? Can you get rid of that tree? It appears to be no. Okay. What is it with you people and not having the ability to do stuff? 
You can cut a tree. Go cut that one. Here they come. Our two random people. Right, we have stone. Let's start doing some floors. Stone paved. Paved? No, not paved. What did we use here? This is a stone tile? Yes. Right, stone tiles. Let's put stone tiles in all the rooms. All the bedrooms. Because we did that earlier. And we ran out of stone. I'm going to put wood in the canteen. There we go. That's the extended canteen. I'm going to make it twice as big, nice and pretty, with flowers. I'm going to stop this from being a prisoner bed now. Set for colonists. And I'm going to ask if you could please go capture and put him in the other bedroom. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that opportunity to make this bed Medical, second medical ward, and the reason behind it is I want Squirt to come and live here. Okay, do it this way. Uh, set owner. Squirt. There you go. Problem solved. We don't need two medical beds. I don't actually want two medical beds right now. So we'll put it as non-medical normal. There we go. We have our prisoner up here. And the, door, the beds are a bit too close to the door, I will admit that. We have a slave trader. Slave trader, we can sell our prisoner. Oh, well, usually can. Uh, who can do? Who can do? Spatek or Sonol, whoever's closest. Spatek it is. <coughs> they are going to sell us people. And they'll take Polis off our hands for 371. Yes. And, because we can't do anything with them anyway, so sell. We can't afford anybody, but we might be able to trade for some goods. Let's have a quick look at this list. We assume everything that we can recoup, that we would actually... Uh... Oh yeah, <coughs> sorry. Alright, and the knife, and the pistol, oh not the pistol. Spear, frag grenades. Right, that's everything we can sell. 691. We could buy... Either of these two people. So let's have a look. Castro, the teacher. Good at research. Not important for us right now. We don't, these two we don't really need. Research, we have a decent researcher. Not important to us. Social, uh, that's mostly for wardening. We have three people capable of wardening. But not incapable of doing anything. So we can do absolutely any job if we took at them. <coughs> Nervous, so they will break. Eight times easier than normal. Wow, that is wow. And lazy, so walks it works fifteen percent slow on all tasks. Wow, really? You're a teacher. Oh, they're saying that. Yeah. Nervousness probably comes from being in the classroom the entire time and then to dodge children. And lazy comes from well working with children who've not seen teachers. <laughs> and uh, Zoya, so we'll have to use you, Zoya. Again, research now, but medicine 10. Wow. Medicine 10. Um, we do have a few people capable of doing medicine. We have three in total. Maybe two. It never hurts to have somebody else capable of doing medicine. <coughs> One thing you can do is dumb labour, which is stuff like uh, hauling. Psychically dull. I think it's you. I think we're going to buy you. 52 year old. Zoya. They're going to pay us 21 for that. I want to keep something if we can. Let's start with the metal because it's something we can't really return. I don't want to keep the fragments at all, so. I just want to go for mining more metal for no reason. There we go. Hmm. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'd like to have a look at you, but we just don't have the cash to get you. <coughs> okay, where are you? Here we are. Zoya! Hello, and welcome to the colony. Grab yourself a pistol. And let's go your gear. You are wearing cloth. 
And I just realised we sold a prisoner and they had our vest on and we didn't strip them first. Damn it. Oh well. You're wearing dear high pants. Wear some symphony pants. They are much nicer and really in fashion right now. That and, you know, they're quite bulletproof. <coughs> right, Zoya, what is your option? Let's put you on every, oops, every single task. Pardon that one. The reason for every single task is if you've got nothing to do, I'd rather you be doing something. Okay, I don't know what art is in this game, but you can do it if you wish. Right, I'm gonna whoop, pop you onto our as a as our researcher because you can't do hauling, so the B can be hauling instead. Reese can be hauling. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna say you can be crafting, you can mine, you can grow. Repairing are fairly important. Uh, you're a doctor, you will firefight, and you'll be a patient if you get injured. I like that combination. I'm just going to put the growing up. No, uh, uh, uh. Yep, leave it at that. I like that. Go. <coughs> okay, I'm going to take that wall down now. I've been going to do it for about three episodes. To get this walkway down and get that canteen. I really should have read that. What the hell did that say? Probably Eclipse. Okay, we're going to use a lot of stone, so I'm going to build a second stone cutter's table. I did say I would do it earlier, and I'm doing it now. Right, let's get the floor in there. Okay, looks quite nice, I think. And we are going through this quite nicely. We are going to have to build this medical ward at some point, because I want to make the kitchen bigger as well. But that's just me, I like a nice big kitchen and I like a nice big uh, canteen. Right, you, Bill. But yes, I call the uh, table Bill now. That's his name. I thought uh, Dave wasn't quite saying it properly. 250 stone blocks, please. So we got there. We go two lots, of, two lots of the same thing, two two lots of the same task, the same value. I do wish when you set that one, that one would automatically set and sync. And you could change it afterwards, but no, they haven't got that set kind of thing set up. <coughs> I'll say so. We have a new colonist. Where are you hiding, Zoya? We have a new colonist, Zoya, who is currently making bricks for us. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. See, told you. So we have Zoya. We have got rid of our prisoner who uh, was just taking up resources. We have finally got around to doing the flooring, we have a secure perimeter, and this episode everything has gone pretty well for us. We uh, have also made some clothing, I'm going to request new clothing from the tailors. Uh, in fact, two shirts please, and two pants. What have we got over here? Cargo pod! Boom, 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 boom. Food and uranium, how close to the colony? Yeah, we're not going for that. It's too far away. Okay. Everything has gone quite nicely there, I'd say, today. So I think it's a great place to be in the episode to an end. Um, if you have any recommendations about what to do next, or how to progress the colony, maybe uh, should we build the, we expand these rooms, maybe build some more? Can we find out why Zoya keeps going right around the map and there's stuff here they could use? If, anything like that, just let us know. So as usual, comments in the comments, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing.